<laughs> I don't now, remember do you, that. You don't remember that? Well, I, I think I vaguely remember that. I think you the were only with, person I'd know I think to do that were, would be John. I think you were. <laughs> well, I, 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 I might have done it. My mother tells stories about me doing that. I think you were with Grandpa well, I remember when you stepped on and had to take it. Uh, well, that, that, what I, well, I we remember were walking, when Jimmy came up here and spent some summers with DC. No, that thing's either taped. And a rattlesnake came in through that little hole under the back door there in that back bedroom. They fixed that. And, <laughs> and uh, DC went in to wake up Jimmy, and the rattlesnake was laying there on the bed between Jim's legs. Oh, oh Jim, Jim, Jim Shreve. He's Alaska. And Daddy and Grandpa told Jim, he says, wake up, but don't move. And Daddy went, and Grandpa went and got a shovel and threw the snake off the bed and killed it in the back room. Well, the, the two incidents I remember is Merlin and I were walking out to get Squatty out guess was going south from uh, Uncle Gene and Aunt Cuba's place. And we were walking along there and I looked down and he stepped right on the head. It was curled up, wasn't active, and he stepped. And I says, Merlin, you're on a snake? And he, he was over there. <laughs> he was over there. And then the other story, the other story, do you recall it? No. Okay, well. Right it's a true story. <laughs> and the other story, I wasn't present that Aunt Cuba and Uncle Gene had some currant bushes in the back of that house. Yeah. Along the fence. And I mean, they were big. They raised them and they were huge. I mean, she would make those gooseberry and currant pies. And the story I had it got is that Merlin was out in the back. And I, I guess, remember, we weren't any more than eight or nine years old in those days. <laughs> and, and you had a stick teasing a rattlesnake. And that's what the story that I have about it. Now, do you have any, well, any I, counter I stories? I remember when we were up there cutting the sunflowers <coughs> in the fields. That's, at a, that's up on the mountain, up yeah, at Uncle Seasons. And, and we had a storm come up and lightning hit that tree and the ball bounced out across there and she came out with all these burlap sacks and we got them wet to put the fire out. They were afraid because it was pretty ripe and they were afraid it was going to burn the whole field up, but it never did. It touched several places and rolled off away and knocked a lot of limbs off that big old pine tree there and they were burning. And I, we, we just helped put all the fire out, but I thought that you and I did that with her. And I, that one I don't remember, but... Uh, <laughs> well, it's, uh, that's I, as good as a rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> The one I, I remember, I don't know if it was you, but Kenneth and I, when they sent us out to, we had a, a stick and they had one of those off of the Triangle. head. Where the... For the, for the uh, blade off of a... Blade off of an alfalfa uh, uh, cutter, whatever it is. Yeah. And, yeah, you'd walk along and hook yeah, the that's sunflower. That's what you and I were doing, and that, that thing seemed like it was 10 miles long it and was. 50 miles wide. And we get to... <laughs> I know Kenneth and I, we would get to the other end and then we'd go turn off back in where Janine has her cabin back in there where they couldn't see us and we'd sit under the trees and hide back there because I didn't like to go to Cecil's because you had to work. I'd go, I'd go to Uncle Gene's and we'd ride horses and play cowboy and play poker and blackjack, cat. But yeah, I remember, boy, when we were over there at his place, we worked. Yeah. I mean, we were out before it got light, and we didn't quit till after dark, and we worked. Well, I remember Uncle Cecil, and he never saw a road that he couldn't drive at least 35 miles an hour. <laughs> he beat the hell out of you in his pickup truck. He didn't need a road to make 45. He'd go oh. across the country for 45. Damn, he ju you just bounce all over that truck. I'm surprised that green truck still runs. <laughs> I am. Well, it doesn't look too good. <laughs> yeah, it, that's the best truck I own. I tell you. Well, he, he would beat the hell out of you driving. And DC would drive down the road, and he'd stop, and he'd get make you get out. And he'd say, 
See that rock there? What that mean, throw that rock out of the road. <laughs> and you'd have to get out and throw that rock out of the road. And you turn around and say, no, no, stay out there. There's another one right up there. And it you'd have to walk along it, and throw. The rock wasn't just laying there. there. You'd get the bar out of the back and dig it out. <laughs> yeah, creating a pothole. Uh -huh. <laughs> the potholes that fill in. <laughs> He'd bounce over that rock for years until somebody was in the truck. He always said, I've been meaning to do this for a long time. <laughs> so get that, out and get that rock out of the road. Is that where the tradition started? D.C. making you guys get out for the rock? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. We threw out so many rocks on that road going up that hill there in the horse pasture. We, we must have made 15 roads going up that hill they because we had them back, and that's why we had to do it. Let me, let me ask about Uncle Don. What memories do you have of Uncle Don? Uh, Don Jr. Well, I know he, he attended church every Sunday. I remember that. He went to rest up his um, it I, I should mention for the recording that we're, we just had Marie's funeral. I heard a memory that Marie and Don... Yeah, they were close, very close. Okay. Yeah. Another thing, of course, I started drinking when I was early high school. Drinking beer. One day I ran on to John's best friend, Ray Williams, gas station. John who? Don. 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 Don's best Don. friend. Don. Okay. Don Dugan. And I said, I run into Ray Williams when we were in Mesa down at the cannery. Yeah. And he would still remind me of Don. This is what? just prior to 2005. Well, Don was well liked by everybody. Well, and Nash's was Grandpa good. Peterson, every time I talk to him, he brings up Don. Uh, I asked Ray, I said, Don, Ray, did you know, ever know my brother Don to take a drink, beer, or anything? He said, never. Never. Now, Cap and what was it, Mary Monk's Club? Mary, Mary Monk's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They were the first gang in Mason. <laughs> <laughs> they, they would borrow grandma's ice cream freezer. <laughs> Go make ice cream and drink beer one time, but forgot to empty one beer cap out of the ice cream freezer when they brought it back. And that's when grandma accused them of drinking beer when they were in high school. Uh, who, grandma who? Grandma Nickel. Grandma our, Nickel. Our, Mom. our mother. Oh, our mother. Mom. <laughs> now, Don, Wait. did he play football at NAU? He played. Uh, or basketball? He went on a football scholarship, but he played both. I have. One uh, year or two years? One year. Uh, he got drafted in his freshman year. He didn't even finish one year, did he, Joyce? I, yeah. I can. I have about four pages of the NAU near, yearbook that has, that has oh. Don. Oh. I think it has a picture of the football team. But then it also talks about who from NAU was in the military. And so... I can find get you some stuff from Grandpa Peterson. Like, Does it? Okay. So, I mean, we, we can share that. I was, I was excited to find that. 